What's up? I know I've already done a snowboarding intro, but this time I'm not snowboarding. I'm sitting on a lift. But anyway, this is the Green Beanie, the gnarliest cooking vlog around. Hopefully you thought last week's Thanksgiving episode was pretty gnarly. If you're lucky around Christmas time, I will show you how to make some of that stuff, like the stuffing. But just stick around, because it's not Christmas yet. But speaking of Christmas, this week I'm cooking an entire fish. I'm doing a trout thing. You can also use a salmon, because you cook it the same way. So, um, you can serve this with whatever you like. Blenders, tea cozies, ice cubes. But I'm showing wild rice and spinach, so I'll be showing you how to make those as well. But first, you gotta catch your fish. Um, after I needed grizzly in the nuts a few episodes ago, they all went to hiding, so now I haven't got my grizzly to catch the salmon for me, so I gotta go and catch it myself, I guess. Awesome! I guess when I caught it, I scared the guts right out of it, because there's none left. Tee hee! Now make sure that your sink is clean. If it's not clean, then just dump everything onto the floor. So yeah, you have to wash the fish. So yeah, you just pretty much rinse it like this. Pretty gnar gnar. Actually not very gnar gnar, but whatever. Now get out this oven thingy mobobber like this, and then preheat the oven to 350, or 360 if you're awesome. Yes, and if you plan to serve it with rice, that takes, um, the wild rice I'm using takes about 40 minutes. So I'm starting it right now, so just saying if you want to make your rice look boss, then cook it in broth. Then, you put your fish onto the oven thingy my barber. But that's so hard and complicated. I don't know how to do that. Now get out a lemon. Juice it. Juice it like it was something that needed a lot of juicing! <laughs> now you put some lemon juice um, inside the fish. And a little bit on the fish. But, leave some. And then... You put foil on the fish. Warm, fishy, fishy. When the oven is hot, you gotta put your fish in. But first, I gotta use someone's hand to test if it's hot. <laughs> well, it should be. So anyway, you should put your fish in now. But now I must tell you about the time of the fish, because it matters how heavy the fish is. So. This fish is about one and a half pounds, so that cooks for 25 minutes. It's typically 10 minutes per pound, and then you add on an extra 10 minutes. Oh no, I have to do math! I hate math! Whatever. But anyway, so, a 50,000 pound fish or so would take about a year to cook. So yeah, just stick it in the oven like a boss. <laughs> now, after hours of complicated brain frying cooking, I'm sure you would be happy to have time to kill right now. So, it's December, and and there's no snow, so I thought I'd take this time to do the snow dance. About five or ten minutes before your fish is done, you should start your spinach, because you need to wash it like it was something that needed a lot of washing. Also, if you've never cooked spinach before, it like um it shrinks a lot. So this whole bunch I'm holding here is enough for like one person. And also you gotta cut these stem thingies off if you didn't already know. <laughs> so once you've done washing it and cutting off all the like weird parts and stuff, it's really simple. You pretty much um turn on the stove and then you put it on and you add some salt and mix it occasionally and it will shrink a lot and stuff. <laughs> Okay, it's been twen 25 minutes. Your f my fish of amazingness should be done. For me at least, it depends um, on your weight of the fish and stuff. But whenever it is done, you obviously can take it out. Dee -dee -dee. So now you have to take the foil off, because it's kind of hard to serve if you still got the foil on. <laughs> now, get out a thing like this. Now I will show you how to serve the fish. So pretty much, you um, take a portion, which is like this much, and you just kind of like use 
this slice thing and you just take it off. Poor fish. It was innocent. Oh my god, the creepy eye staring at me. Creepy! Like so. And then you put it on a plate, obviously. So yeah, pretty much with the spinach, there's going to be a lot of extra water, so you have to drain it using one of these things, and then you can serve it with your fish. And when you serve the fish, if you want, you can add a little bit more lemon juice on top, and then put a slice of lemon on top to make it look boss. And don't forget to serve the rice too, make sure you like forget about that. Don't forget about the meat. See, I told you cooking a whole fish wouldn't be that hard. Now you can impress your friends because for some reason, whenever I tell someone I can cook a whole fish, they think I'm like Master Chef and they th think it's super impressive. But anyway, um, that was Green Beanie number nine, the last one of this seafood streak. But don't worry if you like seafood because there's still more seafood in the future. So anyway, if you're new here, make sure you check out some of my old videos if you like like beef and seafood and cheesecake. I know you like cheesecake, so check out my last few videos. So next week I'm doing this thing called a pavlova and if you have no idea what that is, then stick around for next week. Keep you on a cliff edge there. But yeah, new video every week. Make sure you subscribe if you like food. Bye for now. Awesome.